Hey guys, welcome back to Cruise Blog. This is Allie, and today we're going to be talking about 20 things that cruise lines really do not want you to bring on ships. Let's get into it. If you're starting to pack for an upcoming cruise vacation, you'll want to read into your cruise line's prohibited items. Packing something that's not allowed, whether it's inside your carry-on or checked luggage, will delay your boarding process. If you try and hide something in your checked bag, you may find that it takes longer for the crew members to deliver your bag to your room as well. And you do not want to be without your things for longer than you have to be. So here are 20 things that cruise lines don't want you to bring on their ships. Number one is alcohol. Some cruise lines allow you to bring a limited amount of alcohol with you on embarkation day. However, this is usually limited to either beer, wine, or champagne, meaning that if you are planning on packing your favorite liquor or spirit to try and save money, it will be confiscated. Alcohol is a huge money maker for cruise lines, and if they allowed you to bring unlimited wine and spirits on board, their profits would take a hit. Number two is drugs. Even though marijuana has been legalized in a couple states across the U.S., CBD oil and cannabis are banned on all cruise ships, even if you have a prescription for medicinal purposes. So you do not want to risk being denied boarding by bringing along your drugs. That would put an end to your vacation before it even began. Number three is clothing, irons, and steamers. It makes sense that you may want to pack an iron or steamer as clothing tends to get wrinkled when you pack it inside of a suitcase. Unfortunately, both of these items are deemed as a fire hazard and they are prohibited on cruise ships. If you pack it inside of your luggage, it will be confiscated. Upon returning to the cruise terminal or on disembarkation day, you'll be able to collect your iron or steamer though. Instead, make sure you bring some wrinkle release spray. Next up is extension cords. It's no surprise that cruise ships, especially older ones, do not have a ton of outlets in their rooms, meaning that you might be fighting over charging devices. A logical solution is to bring an extension cord or a multi-outlet extender. Like with irons and steamers, extension cords and surge protectors are considered a fire hazard. Plugging too many items into one plug poses a risk for starting a fire. But there is another option though. You can purchase a non-surge power strip that is cruise compliant. Up next, fireworks. Unfortunately, you'll be unable to celebrate the 4th of July at sea with your own fireworks. If you're sailing on Disney Cruise Line though, you may still be able to experience fireworks at sea during their Pirates Night Party on the top deck. This is something that's included in the cost of your cruise fare, so you don't need to pay anything extra for the show and you certainly don't need to bring your fireworks on board. Up next is the Galaxy Note 7. The Samsung Galaxy Note 7 was an Android mobile phone that was released in August 2016. Less than two months later, Samsung issued a recall for the device as they had discovered a manufacturing defect that caused batteries to combust. As these phones are subject to producing excessive heat and combusting, you should not be bringing them on board, and in fact, MSC Cruises explicitly lists this phone under prohibited items. Next is a hairdryer. If you want to, you are certainly welcome to bring your own hair dryer on board your cruise as they're not banned. However, it will take up unnecessary space in your luggage. And as such, each cruise stateroom is equipped with a hair dryer for personal use. So you really don't need to bring it on board. Next is a metal detector. Did you know that you're able to bring magnetic hooks with you that will adhere to your stateroom's wall? You can use this to hang hats, bags, lanyards, etc. It's a great way to add additional storage. Cruise ships are made of metal, so cruise lines do not allow metal detectors on board because if you were to bring one, it would be beeping like crazy. Additionally, they emit electromagnetic signals and they have the ability to interfere with certain equipment that's used by the captain and other officers on the ship. Next up is a coffee maker or kettle. Are you a coffee lover like me? Well, don't worry, there will be plenty of complimentary coffee offerings available to you on the cruise ship. Likewise, there will be a variety of different teas to choose from as well. Save space in your suitcase and do not pack your coffee maker or kettle. If you're picky about what coffee you like to drink, consider purchasing a drink package so that you can start each morning with a premium coffee. Next are candles and incense. Sorry, you're gonna have to leave your favorite scents at home. Understandably, they are not allowed on cruise ships. Cause can you imagine if everyone was permitted to have an open flame in their cabin? There will be lots of fires at sea. Next are towels. Like your hair dryer, you can bring your own towels on board if you'd like. However, cruise ships have towels available for guests to use. There's really no need to allocate the space in your luggage for them anyway. Plus, once they are used, you can return them for fresh ones at sea. When getting off the ship at port, you can take the ship's towel with you. Just make sure that you remember to bring it back and return it as your onboard account will be charged if you forget. 
Next is homemade and pre-cooked foods. There will be plenty of food available for you on your cruise ship. You will not go hungry, and that is a promise. Cruise lines do not allow guests to bring on pre-cooked foods, so you'll have to finish any leftovers before embarkation. That being said, most cruise lines do permit passengers to pack pre-packaged food items like granola bars. Sometimes it's nice to have a snack readily available in the cabin or that you can take with you if you have a long day ashore. Next are pool toys. Cruise ships do not come with limited space, so you will find that the pools are smaller than those on land. And for that reason, imagine how frustrated you would be if you headed to the pool deck on a beautiful sea day just to find that there was no room in the pool due to inflatable toys and pool noodles. If your kid needs swimming assistance, life jackets and floaties are okay. Some cruise lines even have these available for you free of charge, so you do not have to worry about packing them. Next is a weapon. Ammunition and weapons, including toy guns, swords, crossbows, etc., are not allowed on cruise ships. You may be able to bring a small knife depending on which cruise line you're sailing with, but prior to packing it, make sure you read specific policies. Next up is sunscreen. No, sunscreen is not prohibited on any cruise line. In fact, it should be one of the first things that you remember to pack because nobody wants a nasty sunburn on vacation. Depending on where you're sailing to, however, you may be required to use biodegradable sunscreen that does not contain chemicals that can harm the marine life. Next is walkie-talkies. Walkie-talkies used to be more common on cruise ships as a method to communicate with other passengers, but today cruise lines have their own applications that you can message from. While not banned, communicating via a mobile app is a better option as it will not disturb other passengers. Some cruise lines like Royal Caribbean allow you to message for free even if you don't purchase their internet package. Next are items with wheels. If you have a child that you need to bring a stroller, that's totally fine. Likewise, wheelchairs and motorized scooters are permitted for those with mobility challenges, but other items with wheels like skateboards, unicycles, and shoes with wheels are not allowed on board. Royal Caribbean is an outlier though in that they do allow bicycles. However, guests will have to keep the bikes in their cabin and they cannot be used on board the ship. Up next, cabin door decorations. Decorating stateroom doors is a fun cruise tradition that adds some personalization to your cabin but not all cruise lines allow it as they deem it to be a fire hazard. If you're sailing on Norwegian Cruise Line or Virgin Cruise Line, you will have to leave your decorations at home. Even on cruise lines that allow it, you want to ensure that they are not affixing the items using tapes or adhesives. They have the potential to damage the door. If you're curious to what your cruise line's policies regarding cabin decorations are, it's a good idea to read over them before going out and purchasing anything. Next is a cooking appliance. As mentioned earlier, there's plenty of food on board your cruise, and since this is your vacation, you can relax knowing that you are not responsible for cooking or planning any meals. Note that cooking appliances are banned from cruise lines anyway, including rice cookers, hot plates, blenders, and toasters. If you get hungry, check out the cruise line's mobile app or daily schedule to see the hours of each dining menu. And finally, HAM amateur radios. You cannot bring an HAM or amateur radio on your cruise. There are two good reasons as to why they're prohibited. First, the signal of the radio might interfere with important systems on board the ship. And second, as the cruise ship is going to visit different destinations, it is likely that you may dock in a territory where it's illegal to operate your amateur radio without a license. All right, everybody, those are the 20 things that cruise lines really do not want you to bring on board. Comment below if we missed any prohibited items and some nice workarounds that you have found to work well for you. Thanks for tuning in today, everybody, and be sure to like and subscribe to Cruise Blog so you can be notified every time we have a new video. Until next time, happy cruising.